if you have tried to push your ESO game to higher performance, you may have noticed that you get stuck at 100 FPS all the time. And that gets kind of annoying when you are attempting to tweak things for the best performance possible. The limiter that's in the game essentially limits any feedback you would want to be getting. So we are going to remove the frame limiter on Elder Scrolls Online that is there. Uh, the limiter kicks in when you turn off V-Sync, or more accurately, you notice it when you turn off V-Sync. Some people may want to do this if they have higher refresh rates on their monitors, and obviously they would want to get the full use out of that. So I'm going to be showing you how to remove that limiter today. If you guys find this guide helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do videos on ESO and other RPGs and MMOs as well. Thank you very much. Let's get to it. By the way, the steps I take in this video are also going to be in the description below. So if you miss a step, you don't have to rewatch the whole thing or skip around to find the correct part. It'll just be down there. If you're like me, I'm more of a visual person, which is why I prefer videos. So the only leap of faith I am taking in this is assuming you know where your Elder Scrolls Online folder is. If you don't, I do have the default path listed in the description to help you out. But from here, we are going to go to the only folder we can. And you're going to see a file that says user settings.txt. I'm just going to open this up with WordPad. And we are going to be looking for a line that says set min frame time dot two. Okay. And this is, this is the frame limiter that is in Elder Scrolls Online. This is what is keeping everything capped at 100. And so at this point we need to do a little bit of math to figure out what FPS you want. And the the, uh, the equation is you divide one by the amount of frames per second you want in your, in your game. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. The first one that we're gonna do is for a frame rate of capping it at 144 common used frame rate for a high refresh rate monitors. There are some higher refresh rate monitors now, but 144 is still extremely commonly used. So what you're, the value you're gonna to wanna to type in is 0 just make sure everything's saved up and uh, make sure also Elder Scrolls Online uh, is closed or you close it first before doing this and then you're going to want to reopen it. Don't keep the game open and change this file. It's not, it's not going to work. You have to reload the game. Now my current FPS is located in the top left for these gameplay segments. As you can see I'm at a pretty stable 144 FPS. And obviously not in a place to stress this too much at the moment. I'm just outside of Belkarth and Craglorn. Uh, but hopefully we are going to see what this baby caps out at with another FPS cap change. Now the next value we're going to do is for a max FPS of 300. I highly doubt I'm going to be putting out 300 FPS right here. But we'll see. Alright, so we're going to be going back to the user settings.txt. Uh, control F because work smarter not harder and I actually had that copied this time so this is going to be much much simpler. The value we're placing in here is going to be 0 0.00333333. So again six threes is what you're going to need. You're going to save and we are going to head back over to Elder Scrolls Online and see if I broke it. Okay, so honestly, I am surprised. I'm a good bit above 200. Obviously, the action that is going on is minimal, so this will change quite a bit in Cyrodiil or a trial, but you can see this works. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please leave a like and comment if you don't mind. And again, consider subscribing for some more ESO content in the future. Stay safe and have a great day.